Let me solve a problem to see how we can use coefficient of thermal expansion. Assume that we have a donut shaped disk, which is made from uh, nylon. The modulus of elasticity is 8 gigapascal, Poisson ratio is 0 0.35, and a CTE or a coefficient of thermal expansion is 20 times 10 to the minus 6 over degree of centigrade. At an initial temperature of Ti equal to 17 centigrade, the outer diameter of the disk is 240 millimeters. The diameter of the central hole is 50 millimeters, and the thickness and the thickness of the disk is 18 millimeters. The question asks: At a final temperature of 60 degree of centigrade, determine the diameter of the central hole. So what happens if I increase temperature from uh, 17 to 60? Do you expect to see expansion in this disk, increment in the diameter of the inner hole, as well as the outer diameter of this disk? Okay. And how can I determine that? Let me do that step by step. Um, if the initial diameter is D, which is given as 50 millimeters, after increasing temperature, as you mentioned, the diameter increases. I assume that the diameter after temperature change is D prime, and that would be initial diameter plus delta. And delta is the deformation caused by temperature. So I need to determine delta to determine what is the, the, what is the diameter after increasing temperature. How can I determine delta? So I need to determine a strain, and I know that the strain has two components, elastic strain and thermal strain. First, let me talk about elastic strain. How much is elastic strain in this case? Is there any elastic strain for this problem? No, because there is not any force. So elastic strain is zero, okay? What about the thermal strain? Is there any thermal strain here? Yes, because the temperature increases from 17 to 60. And how can I determine that? That would be alpha times delta T. All right. So let me do the calculations. Thermal strain would be alpha times delta T. Alpha is 20 times 10 to the minus 6. And delta T is 16 minus 17. Remember, I'm not using either the final temperature or the initial temperature. I work with change in temperature, which is 16 minus 17, and that gives me a strain equal to 860 times 10 to the minus 6. How can I determine change in the diameter? So that is equal to the initial length times the strain. So how much is the initial length? I'm looking for the change in the internal diameter. The internal diameter is 50. Okay, so I simply multiply 50 by this epsilon. So, change would be 860 times 10 to the minus 6, and diameter is 50 millimeters, and that gives me the total change equal to 0 0.043 millimeters, and the total diameter of this hole after change of temperature would be equal to 50.043 millimeters. All right? Okay, what if I have force here? What if I have strain caused by force? I simply add the deformation caused by force to whatever I obtain from temperature change. 